Express entry points via Canadian job offers. Today's video update guides you on how you can get express entry points via a Canadian job offer. Note that not all job offers are equivalent in the express entry system. Here are the specifics of what you ought to know when calculating your CRS score. You can earn extra points in the express entry system for holding a job offer that fulfills certain conditions. Suppose you are immigrating via the points-based express entry system. In that case, you can gain either 50 or 200 additional comprehensive ranking system CRS points for holding a Canadian job offer. The more CRS points you have, the more promising your chances are of receiving an invitation to apply for permanent residence. It is not very common that express entry applicants can obtain these points. In 2019, 13% of express entry candidates who received ITAs also earned additional points for having a job offer. If you are eligible, it would likely be for the 50-point award. To gain 200 points, you are required to meet these criteria. A job offer in one of six occupations. Positions must be of all senior management, plus legislators, which are only for Canadian citizens. You can obtain the 50-point award if you retain a valid job offer in a skilled occupation. So, what counts as a valid job offer? A job offer is considered valid by Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada if it is full-time and continuous paid work. Full-time suggests a minimum of 30 hours per week by one employer or up to two for federal skilled trades program applicants. It must not be seasonal work and it has to be continuing for a minimum of one year once you receive your permanent resident visa. Furthermore, the job offer must be in a skilled occupation, which means it should fall under categories 00, 0, 0 A or B on the National Occupational Classification NOC system. Your employer generally needs to obtain a positive labor market impact assessment to achieve the points. An LMIA is a document that employers often require to hire a foreign worker. It is designed to establish that there will be no negative impacts on the Canadian job market if the company employs a foreign worker. However, certain occupations are exempted from LMIA. You can claim the job offer points for these occupations as well, given that you have worked for them for a year and will keep working for them for a minimum of one year once you get your permanent resident visa. Your present employer must be specified on your work permit. You are not eligible for job offer points if you work in Canada on an open work permit, such as post-graduation work permit, and your employer has not completed an LMIA. Even though an open work permit can assist you in getting points for holding Canadian work experience or probably make you qualified for a provincial nominee program, it does not permit you to gain the 50 or 200 point award that is especially for having a job offer. If you require the points for the job offer, your employer should obtain an LMIA. Also, the immigration officer examining your file must be convinced of the fact that you can actually perform the job you have been offered. If you are working in a regulated occupation, IRCC will also examine if you are likely to qualify to be licensed or certified by a regulatory body in Canada. Provinces and territories are accountable for designating certification requirements. The Canadian government website has information on specific professions licensing and regulatory requirements. Alternatively, you can contact the appropriate body in the province or territory you intend to settle for further details on licensing and certification. Our today's video update ends here. Support our channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to us. Thanks for watching.